Good morning and welcome to Weekend Word. I want to talk to you today about being patient with the process of your path. I'm going to say that again. Being patient with the process of your path. God has a plan and a purpose for you. You were born at this time in this season for a purpose. God didn't plan for you to be born in the 1800s or in the 1950s or in some other season of life. He chose for you to be the age you are at the time you are during this season of life. And he has you on a path. If you were walking in obedience to him and you were following the word of God to the best of your ability, he is ordering your steps. I've talked with you many times before on here about how the Holy Bible says that a man plans his ways, but the Lord orders his steps. If you are living in submission and you are filled with his spirit and you've been baptized in the name of Jesus, you're covered by the blood of Jesus, then you are doing all that you know to do to allow God to order your steps. But sometimes it can seem like you can't even see the next step in front of you. And so what do you do? You trust the process. I have had times in my life where I hated that word process. It was like, where are you, God? There's so much happening in my life and I can't see what's coming. I can't see what's going on. And yet I know that there's something burning in me that you have so much for me. And there's so much more that I'm meant to do. And if you look at the biblical examples, there's so many examples in the Bible where God was working all along the way. Consider Joseph with his brothers, right? In a pit, then sent off into slavery in Potiphar's house. And how many years went by before he was raised to influence? And yet that dream was in him from the time he was a young teenager, that one day his brothers would bow to him and one day he would be in a place of influence, although he didn't understand it. David as a shepherd, Moses in the wilderness, right? Rachel, knowing that she was going to be married to Jacob, but how long did she have to wait? And so what promise has the Lord given you? What is your path? And what are the things that God has spoken to you? Trust the process. And if there are obstacles, if there are things that have come into your life that feel like they're trying to throw you off the path, then hold on to your purpose. Hold on to the Lord and remind him that he has planted within you things that are so deep and so sure, as sure as the word of God, that there is nothing that can change that, nothing that can cause that to waver because you were born for such a time as this. God has a plan that is so great and so vast and so big, so much more than what our finite minds can possibly understand or comprehend. We see through a glass darkly. We can only see the little bit that's in our little world and maybe a little bit more beyond that if we have leaders that are visionaries and those that have spoken into our lives. And yet God in his infinite wisdom has put this great world together and he has chosen you to live at this time in history. And he even moved on you to click this particular video as little and insignificant as it is to give you an encouraging in word and to let you know that he sees you and he knows you and he understands that you may be frustrated at times for what's going on in your life. But trust the process, the good and the not so good is all meant to work in your life and keep moving forward. Keep taking that next step. Keep looking up to Jesus and saying, God, I know that you have plans for me plans to prosper me, plans to give me a hope and a future, and that you never leave me and you never forsake me. And as long as I stay faithful and I stay in your word and I walk with you daily, that you will use me according to your will and purpose. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, I ask God that you would bless my viewer right now, that you would minister to them and that you would encourage them and that you would help them to understand God that you have not forgotten them, that there is a process that's involved, that there are people that you want to send into their life and there are circumstances that happen. And yes, even setbacks that happen that seem like 
It's causing them to go backwards when in fact it's putting something in their spirit, God, that's preparing them for what you have planned for them. Would you encourage them today? Would you uplift them today, God? Would you shut the voice of the enemy, God, that would lie to them and deceive them and make them feel like they have no hope and have no future? And if they have misstepped or they've fallen into sin or they've let you down in some way, would you let them know again and afresh that they still have hope and they still can have a purpose in you, that you are just God and you are ready, willing, and able to forgive them? And that you will restore them and renew them and you will help them and set them on the path of their purpose once again. Would you encourage my viewer today, wherever they are, God, whatever they're doing, God, whatever is in their life, Jesus. If it's a young mother that doesn't know how she's going to pay her bills, Lord. Or maybe it's a teenager, God, that's struggling to fit in. Or someone that's retired, that's depressed and lonely and away from their family. God, I don't know. But I know that you want us to bear fruit all the way through life. And that you have a purpose for us in every season of life. Would you encourage my viewer today? You know who they are. You know where they are. You know how they are coping and how they are not coping. You know what their thoughts are of you today, God. I ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that they would feel your presence right now. Would you move into their room where they are? Would you move into their car if they are driving, God? Would you quicken your spirit and send ministering angels to them right now in the name of Jesus? Lord, in accordance with your word, would you speak to them? And affirm them and let them know that you are with them in their process, God. That you do have mighty things planned for them. And that they never have to despair. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen.